Hello, this is a note on a new, relatively new, uh, presentation by the, of the ECMWF, the European Weather Map Models. It's a popular model, uh, considered one of the top ones, along with the GFS. And they have a, gra a new presentation of their graphic maps that is really state-of-the-art. Well, we couldn't ask for anything nicer uh, viewing online. And uh, so let me just say one way to get to it, is, and let me do this actually, I'll go here to a uh, incognito window so it's not biased. And I'm just going to type in ECMWF charts. Oh, I must have done it before. But look, and see, that is not by, oh, it does know what I looked at. But anyway, it will find that. And so the link that you want is this one, charts.ecmwf. And you go there, and uh, that's, that's that link. So let me get out of this, uh, out of this browser and come back over here. And uh, this, is the, this is the link that you come to like this. And then uh, we would generally, maybe you could look at the 15 days or extended forecasts uh, here, but uh, this medium range forecast is the most common. We're looking for forecasts. Uh, then you, for now, we're looking at the surface. Later, you could look at 500 millibars and so forth. And we want a high resolution forecasts. And we want the wind and the pressure. And let's see, that should be it. Now that should, now there are tons of maps and you'll see even with that filtering, there's still all these options here. So you have to scroll down and find the right one. That's this one over here, 10 meter wind and, and that. Now at this point, you could go up here and bookmark that because that's gonna probably be the workhorse, that and the 500 millibar maps. But you have all kinds of maps that you can look at. Uh, and also, well, I didn't experiment with this, but we usually look at like humidity at 850 millibars is one way to see fronts on these type of forecast outputs, which do not show the fronts. Uh, this model is run every 12 hours, I think. Every, uh, well, we'll check it. Okay, okay, so here's the working page. And then the, the thing I want to stress is there's all sorts of buttons here. Uh, and all of these little control buttons all should be checked. For example, this shows the area. And if you click this button, you'll get this picture here, which shows all the different maps you can get. Like I was looking at the one of Europe, but you could look at any of these, any of these maps here, and they'll all behave the same way, these, these regional sections. And anywhere on this map, you can just click it. Let's see, is that right? Left click it. And that will generate a meteogram for that point. Uh, and it's got the times on here. Um, and also it presents it with a, um, a probability bar. Here is the wind, and you see um, the uh, middle part. Uh, this, this up here, the high end is the prob 90%, and this is down now 10. In other words, a 10% probability the wind will be here, not 50% not, it'll be right where the graph is. 10% it'll be clear down here, and also 10% it could be clear up here. Uh, they call it 90, but it's either 10 and 10. And then this shows that. But generally you see that the uncertainty, the, the uh, uncertainty probability uh, expands here as, as they get older in time. But anyway, you can play with that. You've got the meteograms, that's, that's very nice. Uh, you can also look here and you can get different runs, not just the latest model run, but you can go back, it looks like, what's today? Today's the 15th on Greenwich Mean Time. You can go back five days. And then for each model, you can look at the, uh, at, at the different forecasts. Uh, you know, these hourly forecasts, this is like a 100 hour, 96 hour forecast here and so forth. And so if I click 96 hours, that would, that would bring in the 96 hour forecast there like that. And then other things to try, uh, you can 
Now, we can't, these maps, if you look at this, they have, everyone's going to have a unique, very awkward name. So there's no real nice way to get these particular maps uh, out uh, by requesting by sail docks. But we have other ways to do that, which I have to present elsewhere. This is for looking at the maps, looking at the maps online. And then if you want to go back and find the 500 millibar maps, you would do something like go maybe back to the home. Again, let's say medium range. We want forecast. Now we want atmosphere, not surface. We got 500 millibars. Product type. I would, I don't know. I still call it high resolution we want. And we want the winds up there. And we want the geopotential height, not anything at the mean sea level. So that should get us, well, see, again, that filters out many, many of their maps, but you still have these, and we have to choose the right one. Wind and heights at various pressures. This is it right here. You see wind and geopotential heights. So you click this, and then once we get here, this is a thousand millibar. Here's 500. So here's a 500 millibar map. And again, we would go up here, bookmark that because that's your link directly to this page where these maps are. And this is a. Uh, and then you can do things like here. I mean, I, you know, you're not going to see the whole thing on the screen because I I don't have a full screen there. But they have beautiful full screen pictures you know, and, and so forth. So check each of these options that they show down here. And uh, we should be, I'm very grateful to the, the European Union here for producing such a beautiful presentations of graphic maps. It looks like the best there is. Now, it's for this model. It'd be nice to have the same thing for the GFS model, but we don't have that now. We have some, some nice displays, but not, not nearly as slick as this one.